The following program is intended for mature audiences. A Democratic Republic of Sports. The Sportsocracy with ESPN Asheville hosts Tank Spencer and Jeremy Green. And welcome back into the Sportsocracy. I'm Tank Spencer. Jeremy Green alongside NFL team needs heading up to the 2021 NFL Draft. Thursday, April the 29th is D-Day, and we will be live with all our instant reactions to the NFL Draft all three days here in the Wicked Weed studio. Today, let's talk about the Dallas Cowboys. How about them Cowboys? Ooh, how about them Cowboys? Six and ten last year, obviously, the Dak Prescott thing, that's all over with. They've got their quarterback. They've got the wide receivers. What do they need to do to make this team better? Jeremy, they've got to add to the defense. I, I would agree. Over under number of times I do a Jerry Jones impersonation in this video. Lines at two and a half. I'll take the over. <laughs> uh, the, the, the number one biggest need is cornerback. Yep. Uh, but Jerry seems to be in love with Kyle Pitts. Uh, and I can just imagine how that would go. Kyle, love for you to be a cowboy. How about them cowboys? But they're not getting up from 10 to possibly four. No, I think they're going to I think the most likely scenario is they stay at 10. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I just, I don't know who they're going to trade with. I don't know for what. I think a deal is going to happen in front of Carolina for Penny Sewell. I think one of the quarterbacks is going to fall. And, and then you get to a point of, well, there's no teams that need a quarterback. So then they would have to trade. I don't see Washington or Chicago coming up. So I think she, uh, the, the Cowboys will stay where they are fill their biggest need, which is a cornerback, and take Patrick Sertan out of Alabama. I love Patrick Sertan. He obviously comes from great stock with his father playing many years in the NFL. Patrick Sertan out of Alabama. He is, he is a must. Edge rusher is your next priority for them? Uh, it is because of losing Alden Smith. Uh, they don't have, it's Demarcus Lawrence and who? who? Right. And I, if, the bad thing for them is that I, they struggle to find a guy that fits value-wise where they pick. Uh, I, I think an ideal guy for them would be Peyton Turner out of Houston. Uh, he's the definition of a situational pass rusher. I mean, it would be better if they could find somebody that's slightly better that could be more of a three-down guy. But I, still, I don't think you're going to find it. Mm -hmm. you know, not where they're picking, not with how the, I think the board's going to go. Uh, some people will say, what about Greg Rousseau? I don't think Greg Rousseau is going to be there when they pick. So, you know, Peyton Turner, he's, he's a very tall guy, a little thin. I think he can be a good pass rusher. He doesn't bring you much against the run. Uh, he only played 97 snaps against the run this past year. Mm -hmm. uh, so th he's the definition of a pass rusher. Kyle Pitts is on everybody's list if you're looking for a tight end. And since, you know. I actually don't think Kyle, or Kyle Pitts is the best fit for the Cowboys, by the way. No. I think they need a tight end, but I don't think they need that tight end. But that's what Jerry does. Jerry just looks at a guy and starts salivating over him and figures out oh. a way to bring him to his team. Ran that 4-440. Four, four right. How about them Cowboys? Right. And since Jason Witten, this team hasn't had a tight end that they could really rely on. Dalton Schultz and uh, Blake Jarwin. So a tight end being added in this draft makes a whole lot of sense. And your guy, Hunter Long, out of Boston College, he's, best tight he's end on in everybody's list. He's the best tight end in the draft. Mm -hmm. He is. He's the best pure tight end in the draft. I've been saying that for three months, and it seems like everybody's catching up to me now. He can block. He's a legitimate red zone target. He's a much bigger version of Jason Witten. Cowboy fans, uh, you remember Jason Witten? Uh, this is a bigger version. Uh, you should want him a lot. Mm -hmm. And if they have to take him with their second-round pick, take him with their second-round pick. This is a guy I've said, he's in my top 25 of overall players in this draft. So if you get him in the second round, you should feel very lucky about it and very happy about it and roll on because that's a starter for a long time. Seems like the last couple of years, the Dallas offensive line has been hampered by injury after injury after injury, uh, throw in a retirement in there as well. Uh, and so adding to the offensive line, you've got Don De Deontay Smith. Deontay Smith. Here's the thing about Deontay Smith, and there's a lot of people that will say, oh, he doesn't fit the scheme in Dallas. Uh, I'm aware of that. Y you know what he is? He's a, a gigantic, super athletic guy. Uh, I just so happen to be reasonably well-connected to the East Carolina program. I've heard a lot of things about this guy, and here's what he can do. He can play damn near every position on the line. The only position I don't think he can play is center, uh, and you got Taylor, Tyler Biedas from last year who mm -hmm. I'm... <laughs> you're welcome. Try to tell you. <laughs> right. You're welcome. 
Right. I said that was the value pick of the draft as soon as the pick came down. Uh, was I wrong? I didn't think so. All right. What else do they need to add in the draft? Defensive tackle? I've got them adding a safety. There's okay. a guy that I can't get away from, uh, and it's Javon Holland. Javon Holland reminds me so much of Byron Jones that I can't get away from Jerry and Stephen Jones falling in love with him. And I think he's going to fall because there's there's some inconsistencies. A lot of people don't know what position he plays. I mean, I've heard a couple teams say he's a linebacker. Some teams think he's a corner. Some think he's a safety. He's a weapon. And I think he's a guy that would fit into this Dallas offense really well. I, you know, I'm still not convinced that they've filled the safety need. They've needed a safety forever. Mm -hmm. Keanu Neal's going to play more of a linebacker role. And the one thing I think you got to watch is they may double dip at corner with, with everything going on now with Trayvon Diggs. You don't know where that's going to go. They may double dip at corner. Mm -hmm. And Javon Holland can play corner if he's asked to. I'm not mm -hmm. saying that's the ideal position for him, but he can do that if he's called upon. I think at some point in the draft, they should consider taking another defensive tackle to put in there with uh, Neville Gallimore. It's just such a bad year for that. Yeah, the, yeah. you're right. Yeah, you're not going to find a player better than Tristan Hill mm -hmm. unless you take Christian Barmore in the first round, which they're not going to do. Mm -hmm. I mean, you get into Milton Robinson, and you know, then you get into the big guys, Tyler Shelvin, uh, Tadaryl Slayton. But uh, all the rest of them, I look at guys like Levi Onwuzariki, on who's going to go in the second round. And I mean, is he really a down-to-down -down improvement over Tristan Hill? Mm -hmm. And you're going to use a second-round pick on him? I just don't buy it. Ten picks in the 2021 NFL Draft for the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, six and ten last year was a big disappointment again without the injury to Dak Prescott. Obviously, that record would have, would have been a little bit better, and we expect that they are, uh, they are going to be much improved this year now that they have gotten Mike Nolan out of, uh, out of town. That's the biggest improvement. No more Mike <laughs> Nolan. <laughs> I'm Tank Spencer. He's Jeremy Green. Don't forget to subscribe to the Sportsocracy. We'll be live all three days of the NFL Draft. Don't forget to check out all the team needs videos for each and every one of the 32 teams in the NFL. We'll see you next time.